Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to use a really awesome uh, module in Drupal called Features. And what Features does is it allows you to bundle up a whole bunch of features on your site, or it can be a whole bunch, or it can be a whole little, whatever, just what you would declare a feature. Um, and it creates a module out of it. This module you can then move around to other sites and install it there. So let's say you created an awesome view um, that maybe it's like a news roll or something like that. That's something that you feel like you're going to use all the time. Maybe it's like a blog or just something that you've created that you want to use over and over again. So you can actually create this, uh, make it a module, and then move it on to another site. And so to illustrate this, uh, I've actually have features installed on our leveluptuts.com site. And um, as always, I want to reiterate that this site is uh, just an active development. It's currently totally broken. Uh, I, have, I just haven't found any time to work on it. You know, just uh, we're doing these videos all in our spare time. So, you know, I find whenever I can to work on it. And uh, hopefully we'll have some more updates on it very soon. But um, as you can see, I have this module installed. It's just called Features. So if you want to go and get it, it's at drupal.org um, slash project slash features. And please check it out. It's really cool. So we have it installed here, right? So what can we do? Uh, well, Features is going to be located under Structure. And to illustrate this, we have this importer, this feeds importer, that what it does is every uh, single time, um, you know, multiple times a day, it checks to see if we've uploaded new videos to YouTube using YouTube's API, and then it grabs them and publishes them as content to our site. So we have this feed that automatically grabs all of our videos for us, which is a huge thing. And I want to use this somewhere else. Maybe I'll swap out the YouTube feed or something, but I just want to use this YouTube importer somewhere else without having to do all the work again. So let's go into feeds importers and we can see it's just called YouTube videos. This is bringing our video. And this is the just pretty standard um, feed uh, that's bringing in our videos. However, we are using some additional modules to do this. Um, some media modules and some YouTube parser. So it's not just super cut and dry. I'm just not going to install feeds and copy my things. I want to I want to have features do this for me. So let's go to structure and let's click features. Here uh, you can look at their data migration example. However, we're just going to click create feature. I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started with this. So here is your basic feature. And you can see that we have access to all sorts of stuff here. Uh, under our components, we have content types, uh, content, or context. We have feeds. We have views. So any of this stuff we could just click on and bundle into a module itself. So we can do all sorts of stuff. We could take every feature on the site and put it into a module. Uh, but we're not going to do that right now. We're going to do a basic example. So the description is going to be imports our level up Tuts videos. Um, you can give it, you can organize your features into different groups. This is just going to be a feature, so leave it at features. And we can even give it a version. So I'm going to give this 7.x-1.0, saying it's the first version, and it's going to be running on Drupal 7. And uh, go over here to components. We're going to ignore advanced options for the moment. And I'm going to click feeds. So I know that our feed is named YouTube. So I'm going to check that. And you notice it's giving me some dependencies. What this means is basically it's going to say that when you go to install this module, it's going to say it's not going to work without chaos tools and feeds installed. Now I happen to know uh, that this particular feed importer also needs feeds YouTube. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say it needs, um, let's see if there's any of these other ones. It might need, it needs uh, media, internet sources, media, YouTube. And I just know this because we built it, but um, most part, most of the time it gets these dependencies pretty dead on. So I'll leave it like that here. And because this is a feed importer, and it's importing into these videos content type. I'm going to want to create this videos content type as well on the new site. So notice how I check that. It brings a whole bunch of stuff in. More dependencies, field bases, field instances, and taxonomy. So it's going to bring all this stuff into our new site when we enable this, mo uh, this module, this feature. 
So that's good for now. Let's click download feature and it's going to download this as a module. So now here on my blank Drupal site, notice how I have uh, mod the only module I have in here is features. I'm just going to drag this YouTube importer feature that it gave me. I unzipped it and here it is. So let's come to our Drupal 7 site and click modules. And down here, sure enough, YouTube importer. And it, it's listed just like a module uh, normally would be. And it's going to tell me all of these modules that I'm missing. So I'm just going to grab all these modules and then we can enable this and see how this is paying off for us. Okay, so I've got all these modules installed. I've installed uh, someone's like module filter, the stuff I like to have just around here. And not all of them are enabled, but most of them are loaded onto the site. So I'm going to go do features and then the module that we created was YouTube importer. I'm going to go ahead and select this and then click save configuration. And we'll see some magic in a second. So now that that's been saved, now if we go to structure, if we go to uh, feed importers, we'll now see that we have YouTube videos as a feed importer here. So if we go to our slide slash import, like we would if we were importing any sort of other feeds, our feed from our last site is already in here and it's asking for a feed URL. So I can go ahead and grab that feed URL that we're using. Um, and let's grab this. It's grabbing the 50 most recent videos. And I'm going to paste this in here and let's click import. It's going to initialize and this should import our videos, no problem. So now that the importer is finished, I click content and you'll notice not only uh, you know, did the feed importer work, but we have our content type with videos. And if we go to one of these, um, it looks like everything is working fine. However, I would probably want to do some more configuration, but it did look like our importer was working. And with that, yeah, we're getting the video URL and everything. And so we didn't import this con or we didn't bring this content over from the old site. We imported it with the feature that we created. And that's pretty, pretty special. So now you can create your own features and export them. Now I'm going to go over some of the more advanced features, like how to keep your features up to date sort of thing and a migration extension. And that way we can get into some workflow stuff so that we can do version controlling and stuff like that. Because as you all know, Drupal saving a whole lot of stuff in the database and that's not always easy to manage. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. And thanks for watching. Bye.